All right, it's back to school time. Oh, yeah. Today, the state's largest universities kick off their fall semester, including the Hoosiers at Indiana University down in Bloomington. Our Samantha Johnson is there now. Sam, I would ask if you've seen any students this morning, but I know you've seen at least <laughs> one, right? <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's been pretty quiet this morning. Of course, we've still got a couple hours until the first classes start. So, of course, students are getting all the sleep they can before we start this new school year. We do have one student with us, though, this morning. We say good morning to student body president Kyle Seibert. Thank you so much for good being morning. with us no, this morning. So I know you're a couple minutes into your term now, a couple months in. This is an exciting time of year for all of you guys. Give us maybe an idea of something that you are looking forward to this year that the students can look forward to as well. You know, I think for me, um, this is my first normal college year. I'm a junior this year, so we yeah. began in 2020. And so just seeing how everyone's coming back to campus and just the, live, the liveliness and energy that we have this year is something I haven't seen in a couple of years. So we're all really excited to sort of see what that manifests into this coming year um, and how we can sort of channel that into a, a new and maybe improved college experience for everyone here on campus. Yeah, it's good news that we're getting back totally to a little bit news. of that normalcy. Totally good news. Yeah. Something else on the minds of a lot of folks is student safety, right? And so how yep. are you guys as student leaders also making sure that that's a priority? Right. So one initiative that we're working on um, that was actually the idea of the student body vice president Bell is called the Red Zone Initiative. And so the Red Zone is this period from August to November where students experience uh, the most sexual assault. Mm -hmm. they're, they're most susceptible. So what we're doing is launching an educational campaign to make sure that people on campus know the resources that we offer here at IU. I think that's sort of the biggest disconnect, right, is people don't know what we offer. It's a big campus. There are 45,000 sure. people here. So making sure that people know the resources that we offer here and know that people here care about you is really important to um, their, their personal safety and their mm -hmm. personal well-being on campus. Especially for other students. I think that's Absolutely. important. Absolutely. So for our freshmen, I know it was a couple years ago you were a freshman here there. on campus. I was right there. Yep. Also, so for our freshmen, maybe our families at home watching this morning, give us a piece of advice as they start the new year. You know, I had the really great opportunity last week to speak to our freshman class. And so I had three pieces of advice then. And so I said, start on the right foot, go to mm -hmm. classes, leave your dorm room door open, all those like little pieces of advice that you've heard leading up to this point. Mm -hmm. um, I would say number two, find your why for being here get involved on campus you know make sure you connect with your people and also make sure you you know bring some friends along the way like this is a long journey college is a marathon not a sprint <laughs> so find your people um, and to connect with here on campus and for the parents at home I would say just give your students some time um, give them some space but also make sure you reach out to them and make sure that they're adjusting the campus life um, as they as they hopefully should be so. well Kyle I appreciate you saying that and that's advice that all of our college students can take right and guys we know Hoosiers aren't the only ones going back today we've also got Purdue University Ball State University IUPUI and Marion University all go back today so we say good morning and good luck to all of the students up early with us this morning Carlos 